Hi, I'm Alina and I'll show you how to set up a domain with MailTrap. First, log into your MailTrap account. Click Send In in the menu on the left, then Send In Domains at the bottom of the Send In menu. Type your domain or subdomain name into the designated field, click Add your domain and continue to verify it. These are the five DNS records you need to add to your domain provider or register. Also, there is a button to copy all the DNS records to a clipboard, then share them with your admin if you are not doing the setup on your own. I'll specifically show you how to set up a domain using GoDaddy. But note that the naming could be slightly different from one domain provider to another. Log into your GoDaddy account and choose the domain you'd like to set up. Navigate to Additional Settings under that domain and select Manage DNS. Click Add in the DNS records list and add all the DNS records provided by MailTrap. It's pretty straightforward since the naming is the same. Keep in mind that SPF is a TXT type record, not an SPF type. So when adding SPF, make sure to select the TXT type. Note that your records might not show up immediately. MailTrap checks the records every hour to verify them automatically. But you can force a check by clicking the Verify All button. So click Verify All, then Next. After domain verification, choose whether you'll be sending via API or SMTP and verify that setup. With API, select the preferred programming language, copy the exemplary code, and run it. If everything goes smoothly, click Verify Setup. In case you get some errors, check our troubleshooting guide. The link is in the description. Alternatively, you can copy-paste the SMTP settings to your email sending service or app and use MailTrap as an SMTP server. Again, you send a test email from an email address on your domain and hit Verify Setup if there aren't any errors. SMTP or API, you'll get the following message when your test email arrives. You can check the test email details from email logs. Just click the Check your email logs button. Keep in mind that it may take a few minutes for a message to appear in email logs. If the email isn't there after a few minutes, check your setup and send the test email again. Once you have verified your domain and successfully sent a test email, you are ready to start. But there are two more optional steps you should consider. Click Next at the bottom right to access tracking settings. Clicks and open trackings are toggled on by default. Keep them that way to get complete performance metrics for your emails. Also, it's recommended to use custom domain for clicks tracking as well. Users find it more natural and custom domains may attract more clicks. You'll need to go back to your DNS hosting provider and add the DNS record for custom domains as listed under the corresponding option. Then you can click Next to include the unsubscribe settings. If you're sending transactional emails, skip unsubscribe settings. But if you're sending marketing emails, there are two options to consider. Unsubscribe link is more flexible because you can place it anywhere in the email, while unsubscribe footer is quicker and easier to set up. Note that unsubscribe settings are mandatory for marketing emails due to privacy laws. For example, the Can Spam Act in the US and GDPR in Europe. Lastly, click the Finish button at the bottom right to complete the domain setup. You need to do this even if you skip unsubscribe settings. That's all! You've now successfully set up your domain with MailTrap. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tips and tricks on how to take advantage of MailTrap. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our support team.